Hi everyone, welcome back to yet another video. I hope everybody's doing well. In today's video, we're gonna be going over how to make a virtual tour using 3D Vista, which is a virtual tour software. I found that software to be the best one from the ones that I tried, and we'll cover that in another video. In our example, we're gonna be using my current workplace, shop3d.ca. I also got the opportunity to use my new camera, the Theta Z1, which is actually a lot better than the Insta360 ONE R that I had previously. All right, so without any further ado, let's start editing. All right, let's get into it. So first I wanna show you the final product. Let's take a look at what that looks like. So here it is. You arrive at this page and you get this really awesome video that the guys here shot. Uh, it looks really good here. And then once you click anywhere on this window, it will take you into the virtual tour. So let's click and it starts off with this cool little planet effect. So at this point, the user is able to, the client rather, is able to kind of look around, see what's going on. So obviously here, there's nothing to look around. It's just the outside. So we're gonna go inside and uh, we see the entire showroom here and we can go all around that Z shape over there and check out all the machines. And I think that the coolest thing about, about this virtual tour is the ability to kind of look at a product and think, okay, yeah, that's cool. I wanna know more about it, but you don't know the name if you've never seen it. And a great way to kind of mitigate that is click on the I symbol right there. And that will tell you a little bit about that product. Uh, it will give you a, a nicer picture here that you can look at. And then obviously if you click on contact us, that will take you to the Shop 3D website. Uh, so let's, let's start at the beginning. All right, so when you open 3D Vista and create a new project, it would ask you to select a skin. Uh, and the skin is basically a template for uh, what the virtual tour looks like on the website or on your phone. Now, there are a whole bunch of different pre-made ones, and the one that I like starting out with and then really modifying is the Enterprise one, uh, which gives you this sort of um, complete, almost complete uh, skin with a lot, a lot of options. And uh, we're gonna be taking some things out and then keeping the other stuff, but let's click on select and start editing. Okay, so now we need to add some pictures. And uh, since we already have them pre-made because we did the workflow and check out the other video if you haven't already, uh, but we're gonna just import all of our panoramas. They're just standard ones. I went ahead and selected all of the eight pictures that I took and I actually took a, <laughs> I actually took a few more of them, but then I decided to chunk it down to the eight pictures only. Awesome, so all of our pictures are loaded into 3D Vista, into our project. So the first thing I like doing is renaming every single uh, picture, if you haven't done that outside of it, and also rearranging them in this window, in the publish window right here. Uh, so first of all, I'm gonna rearrange them to make sure that everything kind of follows in the way that makes a lot of sense. Nice, so this is gonna be the order, so obviously the outside first, the hallway, uh, sort of first steps into the showroom, then you open up to the entire showroom, and then you go around and see all of the products that we have uh, that we have there on display. All right, so don't forget to name your project here, so let's call it shop3.ca. I already have a shop3.ca project, so I'm gonna give it uh, shop3.ca1. Okay, at this point, uh, we rearrange all of our photos. Uh, we're not gonna be worrying about the loading screen just yet, but we're gonna go into panoramas. All right, so first thing I like to do is to change all of the names to something that makes more sense. So instead of five, it's gonna be called uh, something like the outside. And that makes it a little bit uh, easier to reference once you are putting all your hotspots and dealing with stuff in the actual skin template as well. Cool, uh, let's start editing some hotspots. So hotspots are gonna be these sort of icons, animated or just pictures that allow us to go between uh, all, of these, all of these pictures here. Uh, so first one is the outside here. So all we gotta do is just drag and drop the, uh, the panorama kind of anywhere here and that will create a hotspot. So we are able to choose from a wide variety of different uh, of different uh, icons here. So I'll go into the animated and uh, just look at all. And there's one all the way here. Yeah, this one is my favorite one for some reason. So that's what we're gonna go with, either that one or, yeah, this one I actually like more. So I'm gonna select that one. And then it asks, also asks us to do a return hotspot. So that's gonna be somewhere there. I'm gonna just add that. So now if you preview this specific picture uh, by holding control and clicking on preview, this will actually allow us to only load that specific picture uh, right away so that we don't have to kind of 
go through our entire virtual tour to check out one specific thing. In this case, it didn't really matter if I did that because we're at the entrance anyway. Also, the very first time that you kind of publish the tour or preview the tour, it's gonna take uh, a little bit of time for the software to kind of convert everything into something that makes sense for it. So just go grab a coffee or something. Check your phone, post an Instagram post, have some fun. Yeah. Nice, so here's our tour and you can see that the skin that we have is all generic, but uh, that's fine, we're gonna be editing that later. And uh, let's look for that hotspot that we put on, so obviously that's in the wrong spot, but we can just drag it over there in the editing uh, suite and put it in the right spot. So once you click on it, it will take you into the tour itself and you're gonna be able to just go back and forth. And uh, let's do that for every single uh, panorama and then let's talk about that. All right, so I did put the hotspots everywhere, so let's take a look at what that looks like. Okay, so here it is again. So instead of just having the hotspot in the wrong spot, now we got it in the right one. And yeah, I mean, these errors are pretty big, but that's fine, we can adjust that later. I wanna keep this video pretty short, so let's just focus on the things that matter here the most. And then the little tiny things, I think that everybody can figure out how to adjust. But if you don't, drop me a comment below and I'll get to it and answer your question. Nice, so at this point you get the idea that we can just move around everywhere, kind of look and stuff like that. And uh, that's great. So let's let's talk a little bit about how to make that eye icon and um, make our tour pop a little bit so that you know people are more impressed with the products and the showroom that we have here. Just like they would if they actually walked in and asked somebody for some more information. All right, so we're back in 3D Vista. So let's go over to the skin and figure out which one of these kind of pre-made templates works for us. So I'm gonna just give you a hint and it's this one right here, the info photo. So what we're gonna do is modify this specific one so that we have our product picture on the left and some writing on the right here. That's gonna work really good. As you can see, it's not much different from what I have in the actual tour. So let's jump right in. So first thing you're gonna do is just let's duplicate this. So we just control C, control V and then we're gonna have another one at the bottom right here. Let's rename it into something that makes more sense because as you can see, it can get quite overwhelming if you have a lot of things here and if you don't start naming them properly right out of the gate, you're gonna lose track of what's what. So that specific printer that we were looking at is the Ultimaker 2 Plus Connect. So let's just give it UM2 Plus C for all of those words. And let's, uh, let's just edit this first. Okay, so let's talk about this picture. All you gotta do is kind of come down here, scroll down, and then you'll be able to replace this picture just by clicking open. Yeah, and finding your pictures and popping it right in. Awesome. Uh, now let's talk about how to change all of this uh, just random writing. And really all you gotta do is pick yourself a font that you like and change it to that font. And then we're just gonna put Ultimaker 2 Plus Connect and some stuff about it. This is a great 3D printer. Cool, so how do we modify the colors of all these things? Well, it's just like Word or anything like that where you just hover and modify the color and you can kind of play around with it as you wish. Let's, uh, let me show you how to change a few more things here. So let's say that we want to change the color of this kind of line right here. So that's fairly easy. We go to the, we select it first, we go on edit styles and then just if, uh, if you click on that little icon right there, it will allow you to change the color. And uh, yeah, just a pro tip here, make sure you click on Control S every once in a while because you never know, you might run out of battery or your software might crash or windows might freeze. So it's a good habit to do Control S, save your project every once in a while, just so you don't lose any of your progress. Awesome, so we changed the line there. We can also change this button. Again, same idea, edit styles, click on blue or whatever color fits you. And at this point, we're basically done. But how do we make this appear when we click on the Ultimaker or we click on the eye or anything like that? So let's hide this window right here because if you leave it visible, it's just gonna show up right as you load your tour. So make sure that you click on that eye and disable it. Awesome, let's go back to the panorama and select the one with the Ultimaker 2 Plus, which is that one, and go into Hotspot. Now there's quite a few ways to go about this. You can put a, put a specific icon there, kind of like I did, or put a picture, or even you can use this tool right here and even draw around the Ultimaker just like that. You can be a little bit more precise and then you can add an action. And the action is gonna be to show or hide components in our skin, which is 
we look, it's that option right there. Great, so if we go right here, we click on the UM2 Plus, that will allow it, uh, that will allow that region to show or hide that content that we made. Uh, the other thing that we wanna do is to make sure that we click on show only, uh, because that specific button, when we hover over the selected areas, um, will only be able to show. If you do this one, it will actually not work properly. So let's just put on show, and you can put some effects if you wanted to, but um, it's fine, we'll just keep it like this. All right, done. Awesome, so now if we hold control, preview. So now you can see that there's this random box here, and if we hover over it, uh, the, the cursor changes, and if we click on it, it will show us the content. And you can go ahead and do that on every single product or whatever it is you wanna show in kind of a little bit more detail and direct uh, clients to go to the website or whatnot to find out more information. So go ahead and do that on every single one. And I've already done this, so let's jump into how to modify the skin to make it a little bit more fitting to the virtual tour that we're doing.